Like much of the seaside community of New Brighton, the Waimari Beach Golf Club was torn apart by the Christchurch earthquakes. Liquefaction ruined 16 of its 18 holes and the clubhouse was destroyed following the 2011 quake. Three times the members attempted to rebuild and each time a major aftershock jolted them back to square one. Following three traumatic years, the members have rebuilt their course and their clubhouse. No club is more deserving of an ANZ community grant than Waimari Beach. So I've brought along some friends to help spread some cheer. OK, everyone, do you want to come round here? Come on in. Let's get the show on the road. Do you know a little lady called Lydia Ko? Hands up if you know Lydia Ko. Well, these dudes here, they actually coached Lydia Ko for a lot of her golfing career, so how impressive is that? And they are here today to help you swing it a little bit like Lydia. Are you excited about these guys coming to help you guys out? Yes! Thank yeah, goodness yeah, yeah. for that. So I'm going to hand you over now to Guy and Craig, and they're going to tell you what you guys are going to get up to today. How many of you want to be a better golfer? at the end of today. Everyone? Perfect, you're in the right place. We have one rule here. You must hit the ball as hard as you can. How many of you want to drive the ball real, real far? Yeah? OK, fantastic. The Christchurch earthquakes not only wiped out the course and clubhouse, but much of Waimari Beach's membership. Nearly 300 golfers left the club following the quakes, so getting youngsters involved is an important part to the club's rebuild. I'm joined now by the woman who is the reason that we are here today. Jo, you applied for the ANZ grant, you got it. Tell us a bit about why you applied. Well, I actually saw the um, application on the TV and thought what a great opportunity for our juniors to have the Institute of Golf here today to help us rebuild our club as we had been devastated by the earthquake and lost lots of juniors. I've seen this club rebuild from virtually nothing, it was totally destroyed, we've had no clubhouse and equally our junior programme got quite destroyed with lots of kids leaving and um, they're starting to come back. What part of your body are you going to make max power from? Yes, hips. Three, two, one, go. What I love about it actually is I see these kids out here and they're having fun, they don't get upset about bad holes or bad putts and it's a really good place to be. Bigger, come on. You guys are swinging like nanas. No offence. Say goodbye to the ball. All right, three, two, one, go. Um, what, what car do I want? Well, some of the juniors are new to the club. Others, like Zach, are new to the sport, picking up a golf club for the very first time. Yes! Yay! High five. I get more than you. Okay. New golfers are especially good news for one man in particular. So I'm joined by James Ona, who is the professional here at the Waimari Beach Golf Club. Now, this is usually you on a Sunday morning taking the junior programs. Tell us a little bit about what, what your program holds. Yes, um, we have three different groups um, every Sunday. Um, advanced junior groups and intermediate groups and, and novices group. Um, fortunately, we had an earthquake damage and then um, we lost a lot of members and the juniors. And um, but after we got a new clubhouse and pro shop and then new good facilities, um, starting to the junior membership increasing too, so which is really good thing. Yeah. So what does it mean to the to the golf club today to have the boys from the Institute of Golf come down and, and chat to the juniors? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity, and then I, I, I can see that all the kids really, really enjoying it, and um, hopefully this definitely will, it will help um, more juniors involved in our club, and that's what we really wanted to see. A clubhouse is the heart and soul of any golf club. And inside Waimari Beach's snazzy new clubhouse is where you'll find club patron Mike Hurley. A member since 1958, he has seen many changes at the club, especially in the last three years. Well, it's been frustrating, of course, because, you know, it's nice to be able to offer your members the facilities that they would like to have. And even though we only had at times nine holes, there were a lot of very good, loyal members who stuck with us. We managed to go from nine holes, fashioned from nothing, until we could get 12 holes, and then finally we were able to open most of the new course and gradually go from there. 
that took three goes for us to actually get our course back going. We had it um, initially after the first earthquake, we spent a lot of money and got it up and ready and thought we were going to open and then the second one hit and um, got it up and going again and then the third occasion hit. So it's cost us a lot of money, cost a lot of time. Now if you go round the course, we've got swales, waste ground we call it, where you can hit out of, but that's in theory where the uh, liquefaction will occur next time. Right, oh, <laughs> right. And one place you'll find the Link style waste ground is the 12th hole. So James has brought us to the signature hole here at Waimari Beach Golf Club. Now James, tell us how you're going to play it and tell us how it plays. Okay, we're number 12, par 3. There's three bunkers that are surrounded by uh, greens and there's a middle bunker that's about 140 metres to carry. So the greens are really firm, so if you can carry the, the middle bunker, you're good to go. Well, no pressure, but do you mind showing us how it's done? Yeah, sure. Oh, that looks nice. Where's that one going? Yeah, I think the ball started a little bit left uh, where I aimed, but hopefully the ball's on the green. We can find out. So tell us a bit about the challenges on this course and, and what kind of player it's best suited to. Uh, we've got now the true links course now, so there's not many, not many trees now, so um, we get a lot of um, the sea wind, so you've got to be able to play well with the wind. So James has managed to avoid all the bunkers, but he's left himself a bit of a chip shot to get to the pin. I bought his putter, I'm not sure he's going to need it. We'll see how we go. You ready, James? OK, I'm ready now. Good luck. I think I bought this. Oh, well done. Thank you. I'll let you shout me a cup of tea now. <laughs> it's going to get warm, come on. This club is well on its way to a new era, and part of that is a new breed of golfers pitching up at Waimari Beach. Are you having a good morning? Yay! Thank heavens for that. Well, today's about to get a whole lot better. I've got my friend Colin here from ANZ, and he's going to tell you what ANZ is going to give to this golf club, especially for you guys. Well, I'm here to let you guys know that through ANZ Golf World, we're going to gift you guys a whole bunch of kit here that uh, you guys will be able to play with going forward, along with the academy lessons you've had today, so enjoy. Check it out. Yeah. The new junior kits go along with the new course, new clubhouse, and no doubt, a few new members. Well, you can see yourselves that we've got all these people coming to the club. A lot of people don't realise we're here, a lot of people haven't realised that we're still open, and hopefully we're going to get a whole lot more young kids because that's where the golf's got to start from.